Hello and welcome to another Salesforce tutorial by myself, Jonathan Fox. Today I'm going to be talking about the Trailblazer community and Trailblazer community user groups. How you can best gain something from the Trailblazer community and how you can ask for help. So, to start with, we are at trailblazer.salesforce.com and here you are at the homepage. First off, you can see lots of useful information, lots of useful tabs. On this home tab, as you can see, we have got a, an, an, a question asked by a trailblazer within the community and answered by a different trailblazer. And you will be able to see that question and see that best answer. You can also explore some answers and we'll go through those later. So that's just a snapshot of a different question each time you view this page, something to maybe catch your attention. Here you've got answer leaders. These people have answered a lot of questions questions for the community it helped a lot of people out credit to these guys and girls and these have got the most best answers in a certain time period so these guys are your very knowledgeable people to go to if you need help collaborate we'll go to the collaborate tab later but this is also another snapshot of groups and posts within those groups that have happened recently it is like a mini snapshot feed of the groups that you follow here are some other groups that you could follow and be a part of, and you can explore other groups. Working down the right hand side, we have a little advert here about things that are going on within the Salesforce Trailblazer community. Uh, we have the ideas exchange and this little idea here, this box shows a snapshot of one of many ideas that are on the idea exchange. Here you can see what stage that idea is at, how many points, so how many upvotes it's got, you can downvote ideas, you can explore other ideas. These are often enhancements to Salesforce that have been suggested by trailblazers like yourself and Salesforce actively look at these, look at the ones with the most upvotes and try and include them in their releases to help improve the ecosystem, the platform, everything for you and your customer experience. Every now and then this box will change, but you will see a featured trailblazer. This is just another great person within the community, a little bit about them, their badges, their points and certifications. And here you can click on it and view their profile and learn a bit more about those as well as following them. Moving along, we'll go on to the answers tab next. So here is where you can ask a question or you can answer a question. You can contribute to the community by helping others out. On the left hand side, you can browse by a certain category if you are a subject matter expert in that category or you are looking for a particular question to help answer your question within a category. What you see here is a search bar which you can type in your question and if your question does not appear within this search box, you can Either click it if it does and you can see the answers given to that question but if it does not appear there or something similar does not appear there you can post that question for yourself with your question title and a bit more about the question for one of your community members to help answer and help give you some guidance here is just an example of that the, this person here Joel Harrison has asked a question about a visual force page URL has given a bit more information about it here, a snappy title to help understand what it's about. And here, Sunil has answered the question with some useful links and somebody has upvoted it to say, this was useful, this actually helped. Then Joel has selected it as a best, best answer. So this now is the go-to answer because it's clearly helpful. What you can do as a trailblazer within this community, you can select one of these questions or you can filter up here by unsolved questions, for example, go into the question and you can actually help this person out by clicking answer and providing them with some information. There is a lot of useful things that you can do with this rich text editor. You can add some links, add some images. If you have screenshots to help explain what you're trying to teach or help this person with, and you can add code snippets if it is a code related question. This answers, uh, exchange here is a great way to find an answer to your question and the trailblazer community is very very admirable for this 
a lone feature because you ask a question and more often than not within the day you will get an answer. Moving over to help, on the help tab there are a couple of useful links. You can click documentation, which will take you to some knowledge articles, which are really useful. For example, Salesforce Spring 20 release notes. You can click Trailhead, go to Trailhead and learn something, or you can click ask the community, which will take you back to the homepage here. Moving further down, there are some helpful content for common issues. So if you are facing an issue, maybe look here first because it might be a common issue and there might be an article there to help you straight away. You can log in here if you subscribe to a support and a service. You can also find some more information by visiting these links here. Events. The event tab contains really fun, exciting events. For example, this event here, hosted by Salesforce in Chicago, and you can register right there and now for that event. Often you'll see things like World Tour, Dreamforce, those kind of events hosted by Salesforce will appear here and you can register for those events. Moving on to collaboration, on the collaboration tab you will see our chatter groups. So straight away is your feed. Posting a feed like you do in any other chatter method, you can post to your followers or to a specific group at mentioning people or groups. You can see updates within the groups that you follow. So the sales, files, sales cloud group getting started has a recent post by Mandy uh, giving some information about a webinar. And as you continue down your feed, you can see other posts within the groups. On the right hand side here, you can see some recommendations of groups or people that you might be interested in following. And here you can see some trending topics that might be useful and they are topics which people are talking about at the moment. On the left hand side, you can see messages, personal messages between yourself and other members of the Trailblazer community, be that Trailblazers or Salesforce staff. You can see different views of your feed. You can have a look at the people that you follow. You can have a look at the groups that you follow. And you can have a look at any files or topics that you have talked about or uploaded. If we head to one of the groups, we can see that this is a public group. So anyone is welcome to join it. And you can ask a question based on, for example, this one, lightning success. You can see members within the group, files that have been uploaded and recently talked about topics. Here on the left hand side, there is usually a whole host of information, really useful information, um, links, events, um, resources about whatever the topic of the group is and you will see a description and some contact details if you want to contact anyone specifically within the group. Moving along to the idea exchange, we briefly touched on the ideas exchange from the home tab. Here in the ideas exchange are hundreds and thousands of ideas. So add a new standard field type of address. This is clearly a very sought after idea. People want this to be implemented in one of the next releases. So there has been a lot of upvotes for it. If you click into it, you can see 741 comments from over 12 years ago. And you can see what people are talking about, why they want it or how it'll be useful. These ideas are seen and looked at on a regular basis by Salesforce to help them determine what they're going to release in their next updates to the Salesforce platform. Here at different intervals throughout the year, we can prioritize ideas. These ideas were recently given for selection and members of the community were asked to prioritize them based on what they want to see in the next release and how important they were to them. Feature groups, as we head over to feature groups, this tab shows groups which are important to Salesforce at this moment in time or trending. For example, Lightning Now is a very keen area for people to get interested in because we all should be hoping to move toward Lightning as it is the now up and coming features are released in Lightning. 
And finally, known issues. Known issues are, as it says, known issues that Salesforce know are, are a problem. And you can view here any response times, any workarounds, and figure out what's actually happening. You can see if there is no fix for them, if they have been fixed, or are they in review or being scheduled to be fixed. The Trailblazer community is a great place to get answers to questions, help other people with those questions, go to Salesforce hosted events, collaborate with others and look at ideas that can impact the future of the Salesforce platform. However, to be a successful trailblazer, it is always recommended to visit other trailblazers face to face. And you can do that by going to trailblazercommunitygroups.com. Here you can find meetings near yourself in your city or the closest city to yourself, or you can find other community groups via city, country, or region. Here, you can use the tabs to narrow down the area of the world you are in to see where your closest group would be. If we go ahead and look at a group, we can see that when you are in the group, you can view about the group, any upcoming meetings, any of their past meetings, and who their group leader is with a quick button to access their social media so you can follow them tweet them comment to them on linkedin or you can send them an email through this trailblazer community portal however if you are interested in going to one of their meetings you can click view details on one of their upcoming meetings viewing the details gives you all of the information to what is happening next here you will see an RSVP button to tell them that you're interested in coming to the event. As you can see, I've already RSVP'd for this Salesforce Expo that the Leeds UK Administrators Group is hosting. Here is a quick link back to the group to see back again of all their upcoming meetings, past meetings. And for this event, you can see it's on the 27th of this month at 5.30 p.m. Here are some quick links to their social media platforms. And as we go down, we can see what this event entails. Further down, we can see the speakers and what they're going to be speaking about. So Tableau, Einstein Analytics, Salesforce Maps, Lightning Experience and My Trailhead. And further down, we can see when, where and what is happening at this event. Finally, as we go down, we can see who the group leader is again by quick links to contact details and social media. And finally, we can see a bit about how it's powered, obviously by the Trailblazer community and who the sponsor is for this event. If you're interested in becoming a group leader or there's not a group within your area and you would really like to join a group, you can be a group leader. You can click start a group here and fill out the relevant information on the form to, to let Salesforce know why you think you would be a great Salesforce Trailblazer community group leader, what you're going to give to the community and what hosting these group events are going to achieve. I want to quickly show the Trailblazer Me profile. The Trailblazer Me profile has recently been in, in implemented, meaning that access to Trailhead, Trailblazer Community, App Exchange, Idea Exchange, and Events is all now under your one profile and one time login, which is super helpful and super, super quick. Here, if you click on your own profile or you view somebody else's, you will see this page where you can find out more about the person a quick link to this profile page should you want to share it, any social media links, information about how they are placed within Trailhead, the badges, points and trails they've completed, Trailblazer community connections, so who they follow, who's following them and what groups they follow, skills that they are good at, and it is broken down into this great visual report. Um, you can see how they are within the community activity wise so how many of the ideas they've posted how many times they've voted what answer, how many answers they've given how many best answers they've given what badges they're currently uh, working on and any of their favorite companies on the app exchange here you can finally find out a little bit about them in a bit more detail This has been my tutorial on Trailblazer community, Trailblazer community groups, and a little bit of information on 
the Trailblazer Me profile. Thank you very much for watching and listening.